And this is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Conan Exiles video. Today we're going to talk about decay. Let's get to it. So I was having a chat with one of my Patreon supporters the other day and he suggested that I do a video on decay. And I was like, isn't that something that pretty much everybody already knows about? And he was like, if that's the case, why am I always trying to explain to people why their wheel of pain has magically vanished? And then I was like, you know what? Screw it. We're doing a video on decay. So that's what we're talking about. The decay system. What is the decay system? The decay system is Conan Exile's answer to cleaning up your trashy server. Because people leave builds everywhere and they just get there. And if there wasn't a decay system, they would just hang out forever and ever and ever and just make the server an absolute mess and you wouldn't be able to build anywhere. In order to see the decay system, you're going to need a hammer. You learn the hammer right from the get-go. See that repair hammer there? If we come over here to our feats and we type in hammer, hit enter, and click this, it's right there. Wooden repair hammer. You can get upgraded version ones, but we're just going to use the wooden one because it's going to do the job that we need it to. Okay, we're going to place down a foundation here like so and we're going to take a look at it. it gives us a lot of stats when we have the hammer in our hand if we don't have the hammer in our hand we don't see anything we got the hammer we see that goodness okay so it's stability of course 100 it's owned by us it decays in just under an hour it's 59 minutes and 43 seconds and counting down its build score is one build score is how it judges how much time it should give you for the decay system but there's a little more to it than that. So if we place down this over here, let's grab this bad boy, let's run over this way because they have to be kind of a distance from each other a little bit. And we look at this, its build score is 21. It also has just under 59 minutes of decay time, but this is a higher level structure. So you would think it should have more because it also has a higher build score. And that's true. That's, that's accurate. That's how it works. But you have to have so many pieces down before that happens. So what's that magic number? That is seven. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Take a look at six. Still 59 minutes. Let's place that magic seventh block. Now, if we look at the time, yeah, look at that. That has changed the time to 10 hours and 39 minutes with a build score of seven. Same thing happens over here. Take a look at this one and it's only it's at 21 but we don't have seven pieces down so we place our pieces down we get six and then take a look at it oh look at that it's still at 59 minutes let's place one more and now all of a sudden we got 220 hours because it has a build score of 147 so what if you don't want a bunch of foundations cluttering up everywhere Let's just delete these, clear these out. Okay, now that we got those cleared out, what do we do if we want to extend our time but we don't want a ton of foundations? What if we just want to build a little two by two? If we build a two by two stone hut, like so, look at that, oh no, we don't have the time. We have a build score of four, but we don't have enough pieces. Let's grab some walls. We're gonna use the awesome creative mod here and we're gonna grab the stone wall. We're gonna place four, we're at four, five, six, and seven pieces. And now we take a look, there we go. Now we have a build score of 19. So you can actually do smaller structures. If we destroy all of this, how would I get seven here? Well, there's a couple different things we can do. We can go to our menu, we can place four walls, and we're still not at the right amount because that is going to put us at a build score of 13, but we don't have enough pieces. So let's uh, let's just jump up here to the top and let's go over here. Let's grab our ceiling, take a look. And we have our super tiny little hut here, but still not enough time. How can we extend that time even more? Well, we can just add more pieces. One piece that I like to add that adds a bunch of extra time is the fence foundations. So we're gonna grab a fence foundation and we're gonna slap that to the base like so. Now we're gonna take a look. There we go, now we're at 25 hours. Let's grab another fence foundation and slap that to the side. There we go, let's do all the way around the bottom. Okay, so now let's take a look 
and how much time that gives us. So now we're at 29 hours for just this tiny little hut here, this tiny little uh, one by one with just by placing the foundations around it. So the fence foundations are super handy to extend your build time without placing a buttload of foundations because maybe you're on a server that limits the amount of foundations that you can place, but you wanna make sure you max out that decay time and, you're, and get a very high build score. So let's go over here, let's grab a tier three foundation. The stable fence foundation should work just fine. All of that stuff is tier three. It's gonna give us a much higher build score. We'll run around the side. We'll take a look at it. Now look at our time. And that's just putting tier three structures around, or tier three fence foundations around that one one foundation, I'll spit it out eventually, gets us 150 hours. Now, there is a max to this. You can only have so much de decay time. You can't just build the most massive structure ever and just assume that it's going to last the max amount of time. So if we grab our tier three foundations here, and we're just gonna place a bunch of them and see if we can max out that score. So we're gonna do the initial here, Get this going. Okay, so what does that give us? That gives us 251 hours. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can make it go more than that. We're at 359 hours. Let's go a little more. Okay, so now we have a nice big area here and we're still at 359 hours. And that is because the max amount of time you can have is 15 days. That's the longest that your build will last. So you have to log in and refresh that. And that's what we're gonna talk about next. How does it work? Well, you have to load it and be next to it and it will refresh your decay time. So if we just go over this way and we're doing whatever, say over here, I'm not gonna, it's, you can't actually see it, but I'll just kind of demonstrate it. We're over here, we're messing around. We log out here. We log out for 13 days. We log back in, we continue messing around here. We log back out. We would think, oh, that's gonna refresh our decay time, but it doesn't. You actually have to come over and be near the structure to refresh it and you can see it in here if we just were to sit here and watch it it's going to count all the way down in the seconds and then it's just going to refresh those seconds again and it's going to keep as long as keep counting down over and over and keep refreshing that as long as we're we're standing here in the general area and you don't have to be like super close like we just gotta be in the general vicinity and it's got to be loaded and basically if you load it and you're within view range on low viewing so set your your view range to low in the graphics settings and and you're guaranteed that that you should be fine if you can see the structure so like we could just run past it like right here like we could run past it here and it would refresh now everything has a different score that's placeable all things have some type of of score and not everything has to be right up on the structure or placed on the foundations. And we can actually demonstrate this pretty easy down by the water's edge. So we're just gonna go up here to our creative menu, type fish, and we're gonna grab a fish basket and we're just gonna place that in the water. Okay, there we go. There's our fish basket, it's in the water. It's gonna decay pretty quickly, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to extend that time by coming out here and placing a foundation. Now you can see that we've already extended the time on that fish basket. And we've also extended the time on the foundation. Now why is that? When you're like, Fire Spark, didn't you just say you had to have seven things? That's structure pieces. Placeables are different than structure, structure pieces when it comes to the decay timer. And they add up differently. You can see we just refreshed there. That was a refresh, did you see that? So they add up differently depending on the two. So if I delete this, and now you can see that that has gone down. And once again, if I place another one, we'll just place one here and take a look at it. Yeah, that, that's, you can see that it hasn't gone up because the structure is different. Structures are different than the placeables. And basically there's a lot of different things that count like that. So what you can do, another way you can kind of artificially extend 
the timer of this. Let's place a couple of these. So let's place another one here. And now let's take a look here. So now we're at four hours and 29 minutes. And so is the foundation. And they're not touching. You can see there is a gap there. And we can actually take a look here and you can see where that's at. So what we'll do is we will uh, we'll place this right here. Make sure they're not touching. Take a look at it, make sure it's working. It is. So we'll place another one. And then we'll come over here. Place this like this. Okay, so now we can take a look at them here. Now we're at eight hours. Okay, we're going to delete that. We're still at eight hours. We're going to delete that. And delete that. We're still at eight hours. Now what's weird is that this gets a little janky because if there was a server restart, this could actually change. So we're going to go over here and we're going to delete this and we're going to stand right where it was so we remember the distance here and we're going to delete that. And now uh, we're going to just place a marker and we're going to take a look at our time over here. You can see that has gone back down. So we have our marker and we know that they were here. Now you also notice that even though these are in vicinity of each other, it still doesn't count because once again, Structure pieces are different than placeables. Okay, so we'll go back into our menu here. We'll grab a fish basket. We'll place that fish basket and you can see now we're too far away for them to count. So let's place another one here. We're just going to kind of place it under there like that. Now did that catch? That caught. And now this one doesn't count now. Why isn't this doing this? Why didn't this one upgrade? Well, they're not touching. So that's the situation there. So what we could do is place this like this and now they're all working and then if we were to just say delete this one you can see once again this could make you think that that's a situation where you have five hours but I guarantee you because this is out of the distance of it if the server was to restart this would refresh and be uh, 59 minutes a lot of things to keep in mind the decay system is a little wonky and keep in mind when you're dealing with it that it's a little wonky. So there's other things that count as placeables and things that you can use to artificially increase your time here without having more structure pieces. So here we go, 59 minutes. Let's go into our creative menu and uh, let's type in skull. So we're gonna grab the decorative metal skull here and we're gonna just place that or attempt to place that right like that. And now if we take a look, you can see that that increased our time. Let's grab some more. Let's grab uh, a spike. We'll grab the spike here. Now the spikes don't have to touch. We can actually put the spikes at a distance from it like so. And then take a look at it now. Now we're at 10 hours just by placing a couple of spikes. And if I go through and delete the spikes and take a look, you can see we're still at 10 hours. Once again though, that's false because if the server was to reset, it would reset the time and only count this and the skull that we have on top of it there. So what if we just place down some random placeable? Well, we got one here. We just let's place one of the taxidermy things. There we go. You can see that that's going to be for one hour, 30 minutes. Let's place another one. One hour, 30 minutes. Now they don't link up. Why don't they link up? Well, let's place a, let's place a spike. Does the spike change? Spike still no. One hour, 30 minutes, one hour, 30 minutes. But if we grab one of these foundations and we place it close by, and now we take a look, now all of their time has gone up. The foundation acts as like an anchor system to the decay system and combines all of these together in a vicinity. So let's take a look at the wheels of pain. So we have the lesser wheel of pain here. Lesser Wheel of Pain, one hour, 30 minutes. Now you're like, isn't that the same as the other like little placeables and stuff? Yeah, if we place a foundation down next to it, it doesn't even have to be on it. You can just place it next to it. You can see we've already increased our time. Let's place a higher tier foundation. Take a look. There we go. We've already increased our time. So this means your Wheel of Pain is going to last 10 hours. Go ahead and just delete all of this and let's grab the next tier. So does this going to make a difference? Let's place it down and see. So we place it down. Take a look at its decay time. No, it doesn't. So it's a higher tier, 
but it doesn't matter because it's still just considered like a placeable slash decor item. I call them placeables, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's, it still counts the same. So if we just grab one little piece of foundation, just gonna just toss that down like so. One little piece of foundation. There we go. Now it's gonna last 32 hours. So you don't even have to like place it on it. You probably should. Um, I'm gonna say that right from the get go. You probably should just do that because once again, Keep in mind, while I'm showing you all of this and the different ways that it can work, the decay system is janky. So keep that in mind when you're doing stuff. Your best bet, even if it's not, not, I don't even know why that's failing to place. Let's try this again. Please just place. There we go. Uh, even though that you, you could probably get away with that, just put a foundation platform down, something like this. It doesn't even have to cover the entire bottom of it. And then we'll grab a wheel of paint. Actually, let's just grab this massive one here and we'll just kind of make sure it's got some contact now it's not under all of it but it's under enough of it that it should make sure that it's you know connecting and you can see we're now maxed out on our decay time so now that you know all that what happens when your buildings actually do decay when your building goes into decay the first thing that happens is you get the option to demolish it so as you can see here this building is getting ready to go into decay and it should if all goes as planned swap over and go into a decayed state all right it's decay timer ran out so it should now be decayed this means that anybody who comes along can get the option to hold down e and dismantle it if nobody comes along and dismantles the structure after a given point of time that varies between server settings, the structure will just vanish. So hopefully that was like a good primer to give you guys a good idea of the decay system and how it works, how the timer works, how you can manipulate it a little bit. Um, just like I said, keep in mind that it's it's a bit of a janky system and it gets a little rocky at times, especially you'll think that something is good and it's not going to decay and then the server restarts and refreshes everything and then it's a situation where that thing that you thought had plenty of decay time to it for some reason isn't connected to your total decay system or for some reason it just doesn't recognize it one that, that i see a lot of people have a problem with is stacking chests you stack them you think that they're good and for some reason the one that you have on top is just not seen by the rest of the system it doesn't recognize the foundations or whatever and then you lose all the stuff in your chest because the chest crumbles so just keep that in mind check after server restart to make sure everything is good and usually if you check everything right after a server restart and it's all got the same timer you should be fine for future restarts um and that's about the best advice i can give you on it all right that is going to wrap it up for this episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i'm going to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible y'all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to join my elite crew patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching